I turned off the annoying sound of the alarm clock and got up while yawning. Why it's morning again? I really hate it. Last night I slept at 2 which was basically today's morning and now again I have to go for work. I fixed my hair and tied them in a bun. I heard sound coming from downstairs and it's none other than my beloved husband John Junko. Actually, there's nothing as lovely about him because he's cold as ice, but still he's my husband and I love him. We are like any other normal couple, but there's nothing normal between us. We work in the same company. Let me tell you, I'm his personal secretary, but we go to office in different cars. Except work, we don't really talk much. Well, I want to talk to him all day if it's possible, but believe me, if you see him, you'll forget what to say because of his ice cold looks face. Now let me go and check what he's doing. Are you already leaving? He tied his shoelaces and nodded slightly as always he avoid talking as much as possible. Wait until I give something, there's still some time. He got up and looked at you. If in case you forgot, we have an early meeting today and you're still in your pajamas. Oh shoot, I completely forgot about it. I worked all night for it. I'll go and get ready quickly. I'm waiting outside. Come fast. Wait, did he just say that he's waiting for me outside? Did I misheard it? No, it might rain today. I, sh I have to be fast. Umbrella? Rain in case. But the weather is clear. Who knows? Let's go, we are getting late. He exhaled lightly and shook his head speechless in front of your weirdness. Ma'am, here are all the documents which we'll need in the meeting. She put the stack of papers on the table, binding into few files. Thank God I was so stressed thinking that I've lost these papers somewhere. Thank you so much, you own me today. I just did my work. You don't have to be thankful. Today's lunch is from my side, okay? Bye, I'm already late. You quickly walked out from the office while she chuckled. Mr. John is so lucky to have such a sweet wife. After the meeting I didn't understand this. You wanted to get this deal for months and now when we finally got the chance, you denied. Why? Jungkook sat on his chair and opened his laptop. Why aren't you saying anything? We need to know this. Everyone have been working so hard for it and you suddenly change your mind. At least tell us the reason. Can you please shut up your mouth for some time? He said getting annoyed while you looked at him unbelievably. You know what? You're really too much. You walked out from his office while he sighed and again started looking at the screen. Thank you so much PNM. You're really so kind. I know right, thank you for the treat ma'am. By the way, I didn't understand why Mr. John cancelled the contract. I know right, we worked so hard for it and it got wasted. Ma'am, do you know the reason? He must have told you. You awkwardly smiled and put your spoon down in the plate. No, I don't know either. Seriously, he didn't even discuss it with you. I thought you might know because you're his wife. PNM, can I ask you something? You nodded. Sure. Is he also like this at home? I mean, I've never seen you guys talking or laughing like other couples do. It's just all you talk about is work. Leah slightly hit his elbow. Please don't mind him, ma'am. He's a crackhead. What? I just asked it because I was curious. They don't need to show those couple things everywhere. There's something called professional and personal life. Got it? Okay, okay, you guys, don't start now. I have to go and Liam, we're good. I know what you want to ask and the answer is yes. We are doing well and I'm happy. Now I have to go because I have a lot of work. Are you stupid? What kind of question was that? What? I was just curious. Get yourself a girlfriend and then you'll know everything. Hush, what a tiring day. You said throwing yourself on the couch while Jungkook went inside his room to change. I really want to spend few days just laying on my bed or couch and do nothing like absolutely nothing except eating and sleeping. 
aren't you going to eat dinner you looked at him and he was already in his pajamas looking all fresh and more handsome sometimes you really wonder if he's really a human or a robot who never gets tired from work all day no i'm not hungry i just want to sleep sleep after dinner i'm going to cook something so go and refresh oh that's the sweetest thing about him i know he don't show it but i can see his care for me and that's why i love him so much despite his ice cold looks and behavior he is a sweetheart but sadly he don't show it but i'm seriously not in a mood to eat all i want is to sleep should i take a quick nap while he's cooking uh, i can't help my eyes are getting heavy and now i can't tolerate it jungu came inside the living room to call you for dinner but the he only found you sleeping on the couch he sighed and walked closer this woman seriously why and wake up eat something before you sleep you moved a little and turned to the other side while he sighed she must have been a cat in the past life he picked you up and walked upstairs towards your room he covered you with the blanket and looked at you for a minute but quickly looked away when he found himself staring at you he was about to leave but stopped when he heard you blabbering something do she talk in her sleep he slightly hovered above you to hear what you're saying because it was totally impossible to understand your language you know what everyone is right you're seriously a second version of hitler does it cost you money to smile or speak softly do you think you look cool seriously all i feel is to give a smack on your handsome face is she talking about me he looked at you astonished for some time he stayed in your room to hear all those baffling and how you fight with him in your dreams shit 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 I slept longer. You quickly came downstairs and threw all your stuff on the couch. You picked the hair tie and tied your hair in ponytail. That useless alarm clock didn't even ring. Why are you making noises in the morning? He said coming inside the living room holding his cup of coffee and some files in his hand. He noticed he is still in PJs. Aren't you going to office today? He shook his head while pushing your stuff one side and sat on the couch. You can sleep more if you want. I have to go leave from work today. You couldn't believe in your eyes. John Junko who even don't stop working even on weekends is telling you that he's on leave. Are you all right? I mean, did something happen to you? I'm okay. Leave me alone now. I seriously think you have a bipolar disease. Disorder. Did you say something? Nothing. Carry on. You picked up your stuff and again went inside your room. While Jungkook slowly turned his head and looked at you going upstairs, you unbuttoned few buttons of your shirt and dropped yourself on the bed, spreading your arms. Seriously, this man do whatever he wants. If he told me this yesterday, I would be sleeping peacefully. By the way, why did he decide to take a break? Let me check his schedule before because I remember we have few meetings for today. You took out your MacBook and checked his schedule. He postponed all the meetings. Why? I mean, he didn't even told me. Now I'm going to get my answer because as a secretary, I have all the rights to know the reason behind it. You got up and left downstairs. Huh? Where did he go now? He wasn't in the living room, so you went in his room. Why didn't you told me that you are postponing the me- you paused in middle as Jungkook shouted covering his upper body with his hands because he just came out from the shower as had his trouser pant only Yeah don't you know how to knock turn back now Okay okay why are you getting mad I saw nothing you turned while holding your smile Don't worry okay I saw nothing he said teasingly he quickly wear his t-shirt and come near you What are you doing here? Don't you want to sleep? You showed him the screen. Explain this. He looked at the screen. What? Why did you postpone the meeting without asking me? Do I seriously need your permission? Come on, it's my work and I can can I know the reason? I was not in a mood and you are tired so I don't want any kind of carelessness you know 
He said putting his clothes back in the closet as you understand why did he take the leave because from few days you were complaining about being tired with the work. Okay but next time do let me know too and one more thing as I'm already awake and I don't think I will get any sleep now so why don't we go out for grocery shopping we literally have nothing to eat in the house why don't you go by yourself are you for real do you want me to carry all those heavy bags alone he looked at you surprised you want me to come with you only to carry bags Yes why do you want to hang out with me you noticed the blush on his cheek but as usual he replied in his cold tone there's no point in arguing with you let's go a smile appeared on your face give me a minute i'll go and check quickly wo we shopped quite a lot you said checking jungkook's credit card balance You looked back and saw Jungkook struggling to hold the bags because it was a lot, lot more than he can hold. Are you okay? Do you need any help? He glared at you. You said you only want to buy groceries. Yes, but we are here so why not have a proper shopping? By the way, let me help you. You took a bag from his hand and smiled. Is it okay now? Thanks for your great help, he said sarcastically. Oh, it's okay. I'm so kind-hearted, you know. Yeah, yeah, I can see that. You turn back at him. Jungkook, let's have lunch. This one restaurant here is very popular. I wanna go. I have to put these bags in the car. He said, lifting them slightly. I'll go and book a table until then. He nodded and head towards the lift. Come back quickly, okay? Here you waved at Jungkook while he walked towards you. This is so populated, he complained. Their food tastes like heaven and that's why it's so famous. Can we go somewhere else instead? No way, I've got this food after waiting for 10 minutes and I only wanted to eat here. A waiter came and took your orders while you were waiting for food. Jungkook took out his phone and started checking emails. You either doesn't wanted to get bored so you also decided to scroll Instagram until your food arrived. So badly I want to talk to him. Like come on, we are married and we have a whole future ahead. It's not like Jungkook don't do anything that I say. In fact, he fulfill all my wishes that I ask, but there are things that I want him to understand without me asking for. When Liam asked me all that, I felt upset. It's true. I mean, we don't look like a couple because we don't talk that way. Don't hold hands while walking down the street. I don't know about this moment, but I want that kind of love. I want to hold his hands and kiss him. I gave up because I know he's busy in his phone and there's no way he's going to start conversation in public. It's like he's allergic to people. I sh- I li- like literally I don't know why I agreed to marry him. I looked around as why it's taking so long for our food. That's when I realized this man next to our booth is continuously staring at me. What the man? I already started feeling uncomfortable. I looked at Jungkook and he's still looking in his phone. Damn, if he don't stop staring me, I swear I'll pull out his eyes. My patience was about to end when I felt an arm wrapped around my shoulders, and he's none other than Jungkook. My heart is just going to blast. He glared at that man and he looked away as I can see he looked a bit afraid. Sit this side. He said looking in his phone. I got up and sat on his right side. I sh- I don't know why I'm blushing so hard. It means he noticed everything. Our food finally arrived and it feels like the case. Jungkook slowly slid the bowl of ramen noodles towards me. I'm seriously so hungry. You said shoving the food in your mouth. Suddenly you started to hiccup and Jungkook passed you the glass of water. Slowly or you'll choke. You took the glass from him but unfortunately you hiccup a little hard that the water spilled on Jungkook's shirt. Oh no shit. 
You quickly took out your handkerchief. Wait, I'll clean. He exhaled deeply. It's okay. He jerked his shirt a little as it stuck onto his chest because of water. No, let me wipe it or you'll get catch cold. You sat beside him a bit closely. It's okay, it will dry soon. He unbuttoned two buttons. I know you won't listen to me and so do I. You wiped his shirt but suddenly something catched your eyes. Wait, is there a tattoo on your chest? You sat squinting your eyes while his eyes widened as he quickly buttoned it up. Are you serious? No, let me see. It looks like a name. Even if it is, why do you care? You glared at him. Are you cheating on me behind my back? Are you crazy? I don't believe you. Show me or else I'll think you'll, you're cheating on me. Think whatever you want. I don't care. Why is she so childish? He got up and walked out while you follow.